In this video today, I'm going to be talking about how to relocate to Scotland as a nurse. So if you are a nurse or you know someone that is a nurse that wants to leave his or her country to Scotland to work as a nurse, then sit down and watch this video. This video is definitely for you. Hi, my name is Gloria. Welcome to my channel. I'm a professional nurse working in Scotland. So like I said, this video, it's to tell you the process, the step-by-step -step process of relocating to Scotland to work as a nurse. Why Scotland? That is the first question. So Scotland, it's um, a country in United Kingdom. United Kingdom is made up of four countries, England, Scotland, Northern Ireland, Wales. Okay, so Scotland being part of United Kingdom, they have their own different cultures, have their own different NHS. Scotland have about 14 health board. So those 14 NHS health board are the ones running the hospitals in this Scotland. I can say that Scotland is the best place to bring up your children. So it's a safe place. And do you know that your children can study in Scotland from nursery level to university level without paying any dime? Um, as tuition fee or school fees. So education is free in Scotland. And as a nurse, you're being paid higher in Scotland than any other part of the UK. So guys, let's get down to business. If you graduate from school of nursing or um, you graduated from the university, the first thing you do is to write your English exam, IELTS, um, that is the International English Language Testing System exam, or you write your OAT exam. So when you have passed this exam, you start with your NMC application, which some of you must have known how to do that. But if you guys would like me to make a video on that, you can um, say that in the comment section. Then I'll make a video on how to do go about your NMC application process. I would advise that once you've passed your English exam and you have started your NMC application registration process, then you start applying for job, okay? So that when you're almost done with your application process, you might have written your CBT. By then, you, you'll be lucky to get um, a, an interview. So how do you go about this thing? Once you've started this NMC registration process, you go into Google and type in NHS Scotland website. So when you type in, you're going to see so many things will come out. So you click on the one that has NHS Scotland job slash job train. When you click on this, so this um, thing will pop up. You see sign in. Click on the sign in and create account because you're new. Then create account by putting your email address and everything. So guys, I'm going to make another video showing you guys how to create an account or start a search for job, how to filter the job or put the kind of job you're looking for if you want to work in Scotland. Okay. So when you have created this account um, in NHS job um, website, you start applying for jobs you've searched for job you have applied and you're lucky you've gotten an interview invite you go for your interview okay so after your interview and they tell you you're successful so they will start um, requesting for some documents okay like evidence that you've had an immunization in mind the evidence i the evidence i use is this um bcg mark yeah mine is so it's still visible so some people have theirs why some don't have so if you have that that could be your evidence if you don't have the the immunization card if you've not had any of this vaccine guys and they're not going to say no you will not come you will come when you get here you go to the occupational health unit that is where they will test you even even when you tell them you've had it in your country when you get here they will test you to know if you have immunity against that for instance hepatitis b vaccine they will check if you have immunity against hepatitis b virus if you don't have they're going to uh, give you another um vaccine just to boost it so you won't get any of that in the hospital but if you have immunity for that nobody's going to give you so because that one sponsoring you they will request for some document like your passport and um some other documents okay you will send this to them they 
be the one to request um to request for your certificate of sponsorship once it's ready they will send it to you when you get this your certificate of sponsorship that you will start your um visa application right guys before then you can go for your tb test and have it at hand when you know that your interview has been successful or you can just do it and have it at hand okay and during my time i didn't go for my tb test until i got my certificate of sponsorship so once your visa is out and you are successful so they are going to send that to you you can then um, get your flight ticket there is 99 percent chance of you getting your visa so you can book your flight down it will be cheaper if you book it um few months or few days before so guys if you're using british airways from nigeria you book direct flight from nigeria to edinburgh so it's going to help you and save you stress once your flight you guys um flights leaves nigeria get to london then from london the Heathrow airport in london then from there it will see you you enter a connecting flight that will bring you to edinburgh you are welcome to scotland scotland is a nice place to work they are accommodating they are friendly you, you have a career progression in, in scotland no one is going to discriminate you the patients are not going to abuse you verbally or in any way yeah it's a nice place to work as a nurse if you need any clarification if you want to ask any question i'm going to leave my email address with this video send me a mail guys or you can comment in the comment section what um, other videos you want me to make about scotland i'll be happy to help you and i'll be happy to make those videos thanks guys see you in my next video thanks for watching bye